Hi everyone, here's a little recap of the last diary entry. I said bye bye Canada, got on a plane, went to London, UK, where I automatically felt like I was in a Harry Potter film, took a PCR test, left tonsil, tested negative, thank god, met Lily Sabri, yeah, ate a Pokeball, did Pilates with Lily at a really bougie studio, <laughs> rode in a black cab, broke a coffee machine, rode in a double decker, ate the best Mexican food ever, and then had churros, and then woke up, and here we are. I'm picking up my breakfast. <laughs> I love London. Oh, I'm so excited to eat this, but okay, this is a really small bowl. Like 20 pounds. Not complaining, not complaining. We're excited. Oh, look at that peanut butter bowl. Oh, sorry, are we seeing this right now? I love life. Worth every dollar. I'm a big fan of Lily, of London, of donuts and lean bars. Oh, and I freaking love the tube. This whole trip so far has seriously been like a dream. Like something bad should have happened by now. Like I should have either broken something or lost something, but from Canada to the airport, to the UK customs, to meeting Lily, to all the food has been too good. This was the most beautiful out of this world once in a lifetime trip. But yes, there is a but. Something left a bad taste in my mouth, a bit of shame in my mind and embarrassment in my body. I met the sweetest and strongest and smartest woman and had so many conversations and opportunities. Yet I wouldn't set it up there because it would be mainly my butt. Oh. I couldn't help but look around and feel unwelcome in such a space. I couldn't help but look down and see a body that didn't belong. By the way, I love my body. It just takes me a few minutes sometimes to remember that. You see, I don't have abs. I don't have the biggest butt. I don't have the smallest thighs or the most toned arms and I don't look like your typical, you know, athlete. I know this. I resented myself for it on the trip for like three seconds, maybe four, but then I really thought about it and I've been resenting myself for not looking like I should, in air quotations, since the beginning of working with Gymshark. And it's nothing against Gymshark. It's nothing against the industry or fitness models. It's my own body image issues from the past, coupled with being so present on social media and being on YouTube and having the privilege of being associated with such strong, inspiring, beautiful athletes. I guess it just has kind of put me at a weird place with my body. Now, let me be honest with you. I haven't been happy with my body for some time. I haven't really been able to recognize it. And I swear I've said that so many times, but it's the truth. The A part of me hates myself for even wanting to change my body or consider losing weight. A part of me hates myself for thinking weight loss is the key to confidence because it's not. Another part of me thinks focusing on just living my happiest healthy life is the right way to go. And then another part of me wants to start tracking again. Another part keeps seeing so many amazing body positivity and growth and strength posts and I just get so confused. And I know I'm not the only one that feels this way, but sometimes it feels like that inside my head. <laughs> Oh my god, I have no words. I have no words. What happened today? Holy frick. Grateful. I'm so grateful. I'm beyond grateful. I'm so grateful. I just need to text them right now. Frick. I just texted them how grateful I was. Probably didn't make any sense. Literally, what is life, guys? I have such imposter syndrome. Like, why do I deserve this? Like, why me? I just feel like I'm not good enough for this life. I truly am so honored. Also, this is fantastic. I love you guys so much. You guys make my life what my life is. And before I do my school assignment for the next few hours, guys, that is freaking crazy. No. Love you, London. Donut time has changed my life. Good morning, everyone. I slept in until late. But it's such a beautiful day out today. I'm so excited. Losing my voice. Losing my voice. It's okay. Look how beautiful the sun is out, everyone. Yeah, what a shit show that's going on inside my brain. When this internal battle sparks up, this is actually what I do, I'm not lying. I talk to myself as if I were talking to one of you. As if one of you came up to me in tears, feeling so insecure about your body or just confused and frustrated about why it's so hard to love your own body. You no, know, I tell you that your body is beautiful and the life you live your body in is beautiful too, no matter what either of those two things look like right now. I'm here to tell you that you don't need to change to love yourself or to be better or to be prettier, to be thinner. And I tell you it's easier said than done.
How my bodies, yes, plural, because I feel like I've had so many, how my bodies look doesn't determine how good my life is or how happy I can be or the things I can do or wear or who will love me. This girl and Nutella. But my health, on the other hand, can determine how good my life is, affect my happiness, how I feel in certain clothes, how I see and distort myself in the mirror. Your health. That's the key, that's the golden ticket. It's the path I need to choose when I get a little lost along this road. Each led like sheep, step foot to sea, drowning oh so patiently. Sand people sit and wait anxiously. People staring? Yes. And the beautiful thing is, health looks like too many different bodies, too many different diets, too many workout routines and weights. So focus on keeping your mind healthy and rested, your body active and fueled, respect your hunger by taking away the rules. Put food into your body that makes you feel nourished yet satisfied and remind yourself that your body is literally the least interesting thing about you. Wanna find a cafe to sit at now? It's beautiful. So I love that I'm in my hotel room eating donuts by myself. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. This is a donut. Mmm. It's just not as good. I'm very disappointed in the selection. But I found these. That's it. Okay, so I just walked like 25 minutes to a Tesco Express. And like in my head, I was like, okay, it's gonna be smaller. I was very disappointed. It was very sketchy. It was very dirty. Uh, uh. <laughs> I came out with three like off-brand popcorners. You live and you learn. Okay, so I went to Tesco with very high expectations, came out with very <laughs> not many things. Knock off popcorners, knock off popcorners, big hoops, and digestives. Let's try a hot dog. An oatmeal cookie with chocolate. I like these. Much thinner than original popcorn is concerning. Better. <sighs> I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. I told Lily I'd be there at seven. It is now 7.10. <sighs> I'm running through London in the morning. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Oh my god, oh my It's always so much worse in your head. Beauty doesn't have anything to do with the way the world perceives you. Confidence doesn't come from their opinion of you. Let them think what they want to think. Your body is your home. It's your job to make it a beautiful place. And if you think it's beautiful, that's all that matters. Why, Linda? Why? Why am I comparing two bodies that live completely different lives with completely different worries and food and goals, whether that's someone else's body or an old version of myself? Of course, my body isn't gonna look like hers or mine five years ago. I'm old now. I'm a university student. I sit on my butt for 18 hours a day, editing, studying, learning, crying. My mind is crowded with so many more things than just how my body looks, and my days are not planned around going to the gym and maintaining a perfect diet. I want to study. I want to go out and drink and eat and party with my friends. I like to have late night snacks. So what? I want to enjoy the food my mom makes for me. I want to see the world and eat it too? <laughs> Is that weird? I'm trying to heal and be gentle and accept myself and a strict high protein low calorie diet or whatever doesn't serve the life and the goals that I currently have. And that's totally okay. The last year has been a bit crazy, right guys? And I feel like we kind of got through it together, especially when we're in a very strict lockdown, just showing up for you guys, knowing that you were on the other side of the screen, just kept me going, kept my mental health in check. Um, and I'm sure it's probably the same for you as well. So 
<sighs> just crazy. We're finally here, we finally made it, we're finally in real life together. Use this opportunity to meet someone new. Everyone in this room is absolutely incredible. Honestly, you're all so cool, so lovely. It's just such an honor to meet you. But it wouldn't be a little time of work out without the old there. <laughs> actually, you know what was one of the most beautiful things about this trip? It was something you guys actually showed me, and it couldn't have come at a better time. I had this irrational voice in the back of my head telling me I didn't look like a Gymshark athlete. I wasn't good enough or thin enough or defined enough or gym grind enough to be here. In these moments, you guys reminded me that my worth wasn't measured by my looks or my size or my weight. The compliments you guys gave me weren't about my body or my face or my style, but instead on how my videos resonated with you. That my story helped you feel less alone. That my honesty inspired you to be honest with yourself. That who I actually was, was what made me beautiful. Yes, It gave me this clarity that it was my experiences and my obsession with Lily and peanut butter and pancakes that helped me build these connections and create a community and that is so much more valuable and so much more rewarding and so much more powerful than a smaller number on the scale. Oh my gosh, stop. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. This is unreal. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, no way. Oh, I know, I can't leave this place. Oh shit. Very exciting day. Lily Day part two. Got a black iced Americano. Head and heart can't reconcile. Reconcile. <laughs> oh no, I'm nervous. Stop. Also, before I forget, Gymshark's Vital Seamless is out and stop. Just stop. These colors are so fun and these shorts. I cannot with these shorts. They are perfect. They cinch at the waist and they're so comfy. They're not too tight, but they're just tight enough. I I'm just obsessed. Totally shop with the link in my description. Guys, shorts like this, hard to find. They will sell out fast. I am in love. Anyways, I'm not meant to look like whatever I think a Gymshark athlete should look like, or what I think a healthy, fit body should look like, or what the perfect body should look like. My body is a part of me, and it's not what defines me. I am a Gymshark athlete, therefore, I have a Gymshark athlete body. Spectacular. <laughs> I am healthy and strong and fit, so I have a healthy body. I have a body that works and thrives and communicates to me and takes in all of the wonderful, beautiful life around me. So I do have a perfect body. Sad, it's over. Just say goodbye to the vlog. <laughs> and you guys help me realize that every single day. So thank you. You guys don't know how much you've literally saved me and changed my life. <laughs> Good morning everyone. Today is my last day. I'm so sad. But today we're going to Liverpool. So freaking beautiful. Oh my god. Oh, hi. We met on the street. So cute. At the end of this trip, as Lily would say, I was wrecked but grateful. <laughs> I guess maybe I'll spend this time thanking a few people and things on my gratitude list. First, of course, Mother Son for being down to let me hop on a plane, travel across the world during school. <laughs> Did you want chocolate on top? Uh, sure. I've done that before. That sounds pretty cool. It's I think um, cappuccino is traditional and have chocolate. Oh. I put so much chocolate on mine. Good. Have a nice day. You as well. Oh, no. What? Let's push. 
Lily for texting me when she saw my video on her summer shred workout a year ago because that was the beginning of all this. And then of course for actually inviting me to the UK and then buying me food and riding in black cabs with me and treating me like family and for just being her and radiating light and believing in me and for too many things I can't even list them so I'm not going to but I love you Lily, thank you for everything. Alex, thank you for not letting me sleep on the park bench after the F1 comment I made. So sorry for offending you, and thank you for all your wisdom and advice and reassurance, even though half the time I don't take it. My brother for giving me all his UK plug adapters. Yeah, those really saved me. And you guys, thank you forever and ever and ever and ever. Thank you Liv and Marissa and Gymshark for making London feel like home and for making sure I didn't get stuck at the border this time. <laughs> and I guess I better thank UK Customs for actually letting me into the country. Thank you Layla for donut time and changing my life with my vegan flavor drops. You okay there, Linda, what happened? Ella, for your grumpy no coffee face and winks and giggles. I can't wait to see you again soon. And almond croissants. Maybe that one should have been at the top of the list. <laughs> This is like Harry Potter. Party for anyone asking. I can't tell if she's dancing to the music or she likes, <laughs> likes the bar. Bit of ice. Oh. Okay. Uh, oh. Yeah, what are you going to do? Oh. <laughs> Five. No, <laughs> Linda Sun. What the heck? Oh my god, I told you. Oh my god, shut up. What? Little time step. Thing ever. Oh my god. I don't like it. The aftertaste. Oh. It's bloody great. Oh. I like this one. It smells kind of like Christmas. Morning. <laughs> 8 a.m. Santa's coming to town. Oh, I love it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was in the caramel. I keep forgetting it's vegan. Oh, oh my god. That way, Tom. Did he start last year? I feel like I'm uh, eating a. Try breaking it. It's delicious. You know, you might not see it today or tomorrow, but you'll look back in a few years and be absolutely astonished by how every little thing added up and brought you somewhere you always wanted to be. You'll be on a plane to see your favorite influencer halfway across the globe. You'll be in a cafe in a big city alone, but feeling so content with who you've become. You'll have friends who truly love you and accept you for who you are. You'll be able to look at your body and see yourself and what you love and not everything that's wrong. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Oh, I don't want to leave. People were like, so how many times have you met? Like thinking it was like a hundred, and we were like, one. You will have finally forgiven yourself for all the silly childhood mistakes you made and see that you needed to break and get broken a few times to be who you are now. I don't want to go home. No. This has been the most amazing trip of my entire life. Thank you everyone for making this my life. Real. And Lily and Alex and Ella and Alex's brothers. Thank you for taking me in. Thank you for letting me come. Thank you for letting me tag along. I don't know why. I deserve it. I'm so, so lucky. It's only the beginning. We have so many adventures. How am I gonna get everything in this suitcase? What happens when you go for fashion rather than walk? <laughs> you don't wear pants when oh. Oh. <laughs> It's weird. Really, really weird. Everything is different, but everything is good. Have you ever had moments where you're looking at a sunset or laughing around the dinner table or having a super deep conversation that touches your soul or a moment where you finally feel like you understand the meaning of real friends? Oh no! Oh, oh shit, no shit! Oh, shit. Yeah. 
it's a wow moment. It's a I wish this moment would never end moment. It's a I'm so happy this is my life moment. Life moves pretty freaking fast. Suddenly you're in your 20s and you're screaming along in the car to all the songs you listened to when you were heartbroken in middle school. And everything is different, but everything is good. Thank you so, so much. And Goodbye. Bye. 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 <sighs> Suddenly you learn how to dress for yourself and not for the eyes of others. Suddenly what others think doesn't hurt nearly as bad because you've learned to love all the pieces of yourself. Suddenly, exercise is empowering and no longer exhausting. Suddenly, all your high school friends are older. They're scattered across the world, they're buying cars and making memories with new friends, and suddenly you have to learn to live for yourself because that's what everyone else is doing. Suddenly there are taxes to be paid and gas to be filled and groceries to buy and managers to report to you in a place that isn't home that you call home. Suddenly, I'm eating spontaneously, honoring cravings, not thinking twice before ordering, seeing food as an experience, a connection, a hobby, an adventure, something exciting and delicious. Suddenly, I literally have the relationship with food I have longed for my entire life. Suddenly, out of nowhere, you pick up your phone and start filming yourself, and before you know it, you're in London, meeting all the people you used to watch religiously. Suddenly, life is pretty unrecognizable, but is so much more beautiful just in a different way. Suddenly, you're a little scared that you won't be able to handle how fast things are changing, but then you remember how far you've come and how everything is different, but everything is good. And of course it's not perfect, but growing up isn't meant to be. I wasn't ready. I guess no one really is. Am I scared? Yes. Am I ready for this chapter of my life? No, not even a little bit. Do I doubt myself? Every single freaking day. Am I sad that I'm leaving a past that has been so beautiful and loving and kind to me? Absolutely. Do I even know what I'm doing? Nope. But who really does? Is change uncomfortable? We all know it is. But do I need to do this for me? Yes. Is this going to make me happier? Yes. Am I going to be okay? Maybe not every moment of every day, but I know I will because I know there is more for me. There's no right way or exact timeline on how to grow up or to heal or to learn. So let's do it together. I think growing up is really, really scary, but it isn't all bad. And I'm realizing more and more, I'll never have this version of myself again. So let me actually just slow down and just be with her. Okay, I guess here goes nothing. <laughs>